So Hare Krishna, we will just start to sing a little bit and then uh, as the devotees come here, we will start.
I request you to give a full applause to Svestjan. Which is explained in the Bhagavatam. That is 
that one should inquire both directly and indirectly about this absolute truth. U duhovnom životu postoji jedna jako važna stvar, a to je da se osoba mora direktno i indirektno raspitivati o svom duhovnom putu. To inquire directly about Krishna is very important. Where does he live? What are his activities? What is his qualities? I kada se raspitivamo direktno o Krišni, onda je jako bitno da znamo kakav je on, da on živi, koje su njegove osobine. And similarly, it's important to inquire indirectly about him. I na isti način je jako bitno da se indirektno raspitujemo o Krišni. To inquire indirectly about Krišna means according to Srila Prabhupada's purpose about one's explanation to inquire what are the obstacles on my way to Krishna which I have to overcome. A kada želimo da se raspitujemo indirektno o Krišni, onda se moramo raspitivati koje su to prepreke na mom put. I would like to spend the first 20 minutes of this seminar to inquire directly about Krishna. That is how can I overcome obstacles on my path to Vrindavan? I prvi 20 minuta ovog našeg seminara ja bi želao da posvetim tom indirektnom raspetivanju o Krišni, odnosno kako možemo ukloniti naše prepreke na dugom putu. We hear in the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita a verse about the super natural spiritual quality of the Vrindavan on this earth. The verse is just as Krishna plays in this Raja movie on earth, he also plays in Goloka Vrindavan. These two realms are only imagined to be different one above the other, but they are the same. I Stephen kaže da u oba ova područja, u vrdavanu na ovoj planeti i gore u dugovnom svetu, da se Krišna igra na potpuno isti način. I ako zamišljamo da se ova dva područja razliku jedna od drugog, to nije istina. It says this vrdavan here, which we can visit, is the same as the eternally perfect vrdavan there. I čujemo da ovaj vrindavan ovdje koji možemo posjetiti da je potpuno identičan vrindavan u goru duhovnog svetu. There is one difference. Ali postoji jedna razlika. In the vrindavan there you can always have the darshan of Krishna and in this vrindavan you can only sometimes have the darshan of Krishna when your senses are purified. U vrindavanu duhovnom svetu osoba može uvek imati krešni daršan, a u ovom našem vrindavanu osoba može dobiti daršan samo ponekad kada su njena čula pročešćena. Prabhupada was once asked how can we understand that vrindavan here is Krishna above, Krishna is above, there seems to be so much contamination in this vrindavan. I jednom su bavite pitali Šilo Pravopada kako to možemo shvatiti da se ovaj vrindavan nalazi u duhovnom svetu, ovdje ima toliko puno kontaminacije. Šilo Pravopada answers you, answered you only see the contamination because your senses are impure. I Šilo Pravopada je odgovorio ti vidiš tu kontaminaciju samo zbog toga što su tvoje čula nepročišćene. When your eyes are smeared with the self of love, then you can see the real Vrindavan. I kada su tvoje oči premazane pomošći ljubavi, onda možeš vidjeti pravi Vrindavan. Don't judge Vrindavan by the external manifestation. Nemoj suditi o Vrindavanu nosnom spoljašnjih manifestacija. I think yesterday we talked a little extensively about this, but I wanted to repeat the point so that it is clear. I juče, ako se sećate, govorili smo već ove pojenti, ali ja želim da je opet ponovim kako bi smo bili potpuno jasni. Now, the question which appears and which we have only partially dealt with yesterday is 
uh, how uh, can you remove the covering to the holy dam? I ono pitanje koje smo uh, juče samo delimično razmotrili jeste kako možemo da uklonimo taj prekrivač uh, duhovnog dame. How can you remove the impurity so that you can actually have the darshan of Krishna in Vrindavana? Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Tago gives us a wonderful remedy. He says we must chant the holy names. I Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Tago nam preporučuje predivan lek. On kaže moramo mantrati Hare Krishna. By the truth, he says, the transcendental sound will be the agency. I on kaže da će taj transcendentalni zvuk biti sredstvo. He said, See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught us to place our reliance solely on the name of Hari. I on kaže da nam je Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, ostavio tu zavet da mi moramo naći svoje jedino utočište u svetom imenu. It is this absolute sound which will carry us to the region of the absolute. I to je taj apsolutni zvuk koji će nas dovesti do apsolutnog područja. Now I know we all know this, so I want to explain it a little deeper. I ja znam da nam je ovo svima poznato, zato želim to objasniti na malo dublji način. Popat uh, made it very clear, he says, when there is chanting, there all of a sudden there are two forces. I the spiritual and the material force of the mind. Pravo pa to opisuje tako da kada mantramo uvijek postoje dve uh, moći. To je duhovna moć svetog imena i materijalna moć. And they cannot stay parallel to each other. I one ne mogu ostati paralelne jedna drugu. Just like darkness and light cannot uh, stay parallel to each other. One has to go. Either the darkness is dispelled by the light and removed or the candle or whatever light you brought is extinguished. Upravo kao i tama i svetlost ne mogu postojati uh, paralelno, već ili će uh, tama nestati kada donesemo svetlost, ili će sveće ili lampa će se ugasiti i onda će sve prekriti tamo. So when you start chanting, a, a struggle starts, uh, starts. Tako da kada započnete da mantrate, onda započinje ta borba. And either the mantra will be victorious, i ili će mantra biti pobedonosna? And you will be fully Krishna conscious? I već ćete biti potpuno svesni Krishna? Or the darkness will still keep you into its grip? Ili će vas tamo i dalje držati u svom uh, zatvoru? And the way you can keep, uh, you can be victorious in transcendental sound vibration is by a simple method which we teach on our Japa retreat and which I want to teach you today. I način na koji možete biti pobedonosni sa tom transnatalnom zvučnom vibracijom jeste jednostavan metod koji ja podučujem, podučavam na našim Japa retreatima i koji želim sa vama danas da podelim. You have to somehow give attention to the holy name. Vi morate na neki način dati pažnje duhovnom imenu, svetom imenu. And stay with the mantra. Morate ostati sa mantra. So that the mind becomes one with the mantra. Tako da vaš um postane jedno sa mantra. When you have a strong affectionate thought, the mind is usually one with the with the thought. I obično kada imate neku uh, jaku uh, misao, onda em koja je emotivna napunjena, onda um ostaje u stu misla. When the child cries for the mother when it feels a danger, there is only mother in the consciousness of the child. I kada dete plače za svojom majkom zato što postoji neka opasnost, onda u detetom umu postoji samo majka. The mind and the subject matter, but mother have become one at that time. I u tom trenutku majka i, i taj objekat, majka i um postali su jedno. Nothing else than mother is in the mind. I ne postoji ništa drugo osim majke u umu. This is how we, we should chant when, when the chanting prevails. I to je upravo način na koji bi trebalo da mantramo onda kada um nadvladava. Now this is not so, mantra easy. This not so easy. I to nije tako lako. And uh, I suggest that when you chant, 
you bring, whenever you change your attention, full attention to the first Hari of the mantra. Ja predlažem da kada mantra te donate donesete do uh, ukažete svoju pažnju na prvo hare mantri. When I, and uh, you you only bring the mantra to the first hare, nothing else. I jednostavno uh, dovedite svoj svoj um do tog prvog hare u mantri, ništa više osim toga. Then you might find how the mantra and the uh, mind again become two. I onda možete videti kako mantra i um ponovo postaju dva. Then you bring it back again to the first hari. I onda dovedete svoj um opet do tog prvog hari. After some time doing this, you will see that the mantra, that the mind is no longer separate from the mantra, but it will stay for the entire 32 syllables with the Hare Krishna mantra. I onda nakon izvjesnog vremena primetit ćete da se um više ne razdvaja od mantra, već će ostati uz mantru u toku sva 32 sloga u mantru. At that time you would not bring the mind back to the mantra because it has become one. I tada ne morate da dovodite svoj um opet nazad ka mantri, zato što je već postao jedno sa mantri. It is with, from this perspective of realization that Prabhupada said, when you chant, when the question of the mind, there's only Hare Krishna, you chant and you hear. I s te perspektive možemo shvatiti kad je Šela Prabhupada rekao, što, kako je vaše pitanje uma, jednostavno mantra i, i slušaj. There is no point of mind control any longer. I ne postoji više nikakvo pitanje kontrole uma. Would you like to try this method? Da li biste želi da isprobate ovaj metod? Da me jeti? Ja? Alright. So, sit down properly. Sada sedite uspremno. We will chat now. And we will chat now. Mi ćemo sada matrati. I will one time chat alone. Ja ću jedno matrati sama. And then when you hear your signal, it's time for you to start. A onda kada budete čuli zbog karatala, onda je to vreme za vas da se uključite, priručite. And many things might happen during this time. I mnoge stvari se mogu odigrati tokom ovog vremena. I will speak to you. Ja ću vam govoriti. But you should not stop chanting. Ali vi ne treba da prestanete da mantrate. I will give you some instructions. Odnosno da ću vam instrukcije. Which will bring you, make the mantra and the mind one. Koji će nam pomoći da vaš um i mantra postanu jedno. Always continue. Znači samo nastavite da mantrate. So I will chant one time alone. Znači ja ću prvo jednom sam mantrati. And then we chant together. Zatim mantramo zajedno. And your duty is what? I šta je vaša dužnost? Are you chanting? That's only half of the duty. The party, what is the other half of the task? Listen to the first hurry. Only the first hurry. Only you should only be concerned about the first hurry. Nothing else. Znači, druga polovina zadatka je da budete skoncentrisani na samo ovo prvo hare. To je sve što treba da radite, nešto više. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Sada se skoncentrišite na prvo Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna, 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 Krishna,
through the God you talk now with change. I ovo zaista funkcioniš, a tako da to radite neki duži vremenski period. I ovdje sam vam ovom samo željeli dati ideju i predstavu kako to izgleda kada se skoncentrišete samo na prvo hara, a ne na celu mantu. You will see magically how you will flow in the mantra. It, it will be that you enter with your mind the mantra. This is how Dhyan Chandra says it works. I, I can only compare it with entering the river Ganga Oops. and then being carried by the refreshing, refreshing waves of Mother Ganga. You know who is the first Hari? Radharani. You know him? Look at Radharani. She has her right hand up in the mood of blessing. I ona je podigla svoju desnu ruku u raspoloženju davanja blagoslova. Radharani's blessing speed that our heart is filled with bhakti. I Radharani's blagoslovi znače da naše srce je ispunjeno bhakti. When we say Shrimati Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, what we say is we glorify an expansion of Radharani, something which is coming from her. I kada kažemo Šimati Bhakti Devi Ki Jai, onda mi u stvari slavimo ekspanziju Šimati Radarani, nešto što potiče i izlazi iz nje. Tako da kada uzmete utočište u tom prvom hare, tako da kada uzmete njeno utočište, onda se dešava ono što će se desiti u ovoj meditaciji, odnosno da vaš um postane jedno s mantrom. But if the mantra and the mind are two, like it happens sometimes when we struggle with our attention, then it's really difficult. Ali ako se desi, kao što se obično dešava, da su mantra i um dve odvojene stvari, onda je saista teško. Je da su really teško? Jako teško. Ja. But then try this with the first hari. It's authorized. Ali molim vas, probajte ovo sa prvim hare. To je dato do autoriteta. Dhyan Chandra says. Dhyan Chandra je to rekao. He is a disciple of Gopal Guru Goswami. 
I on je bio učenik okolo guru Gosvamija. And he says, gives this definition of Japa. I on daje ovu definiciju Japa. Japa means that the mind enters the mantra. Japa znači da u ulazi u mantru. And the first hara is really the entrance gate. I to prvo hara je u stvari ulazna kapija. Simadi bhakti devi ki. Yes, by her blessing this can be attained. Da, njeno milošće to može biti dostignuto. My dear devotees, since I, since, since this, I, I have read this, my japa has changed so much, I actually like to do japa nowadays. I moj drago bakte, od kako sam ja ovo pročitao, moje mantranje se toliko promenilo da ja sada zaista volim da mantram. Sometimes I don't want to go to bed, I like to stand so much in the night when no one can, can, all the services has been done. I ja nekada noću ne mogu da stanem zato što želim samo da mantram onda noću kada su sve službe već ostavljene preobavljene. So, the real dam can be revealed by the nam. Pravi dam, dam, može biti razgotkriven uz nam. But Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Tago was walking with some disciples in the morning by a path in Mayapur Dam and there were many villagers who were uh, squatting and producing the human pile. I jednom je Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Tago šetao sa svojim učenicima u Mayapur Damu i tu je bilo puno seljena pored puta koji su čučali i proizvodili it smelled so much like red hot chili stool. I to mi resalo jako puno na izmat prepun crvenih čilija. Have you ever smelled chili stool? Da li ste ikada pomirisali izmet koji se osjeća na čili to crveno? It is overwhelmingly strong. On je jako preplavljući snažan. So, all the disciples went, oh, sorry, Guru Maharaj, we took the wrong path. Ja da su svi učenici rekli, izvini, Guru Maharaj, mi smo krenuli pogrešnim putem. I spent so bad. Oh, i smrdi tako strašno. Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur's answer was, no, no, I'm smelling only fragrant jasmine flowers. A Bog ti se dana sada sve ti odgovorio, ne, ne, ja mogu da mi rešim samo prekrasne jasminove cvetove. The dam of dam is the dam of Goranga Mahaprabhu who is, has the color of a jasmine flower. Vrindavan dam je, Mayapur dam je mesto Četanja Mahaprabhu koji mi reša na predivne jasminove cvetove. And he said, as long as your senses remain contaminated, your perception is contaminated. I dok god su vaša čula kontaminirana i vaše pažanje je kontaminirano. You are covered. Jednostavno prikriveni ste. And then he instructed his disciples to chant attentively. I onda je dao pustu svojim učenicima da mantraju pažnje. My next point is to appreciate the David you have to somehow enter the mood of the residence of the David that is you have to be there for service of Krishna. If you want to enjoy Vrindavan, <laughs> don't work, it doesn't work. I moja point je, ako želite stvarno da dospete u Vrindavan, onda morate imati raspoloženje stanovnika Vrindavan. Ako samo želite da uživate, onda ćete biti razločani. Someone who stays in Vrindavan and who does not offer loving service to Radha Krishna will most properly only see the covering of Vrindavan. Osoba koja je prebila u Vrindavanu i koja ne služi s ljubavi u radu i krišnu, ona će najvarovatnije vidjeti samo to je prikrivač Vrindavanu. Prabhupada je to tako nice. The mentality, he said, of Vrindavan is the perfect status of mind for the devotee. Šelo Prabhupada je rekao... The mentality of Vrindavan is the perfect status of mind for the devotee. Mentalitet u Vrindavanu... I will say it again because it's... I don't understand the perfect... ...status 
of mind, okay. of for the devotee. But it's, it's a very difficult sentence. I will say it the third time okay. because we also want to hear in English the third time. The mentality of Vrindavan is the perfect status of mind for the devotee. Mentalitet Vrindavana jeste savršeno stanje uma za bhakti. That is devotional service, that's the mind of a devotee. Uh, to je um bhakti. If you, if you, many Westerners, especially those who go to Radha to experience the highest state, no, no, it's religious polemics, many Westerners, forget about it, anyways, many Westerners, I have seen want to enjoy Vrindavan. They see it's a little bit like a holiday, but this never works. You, everyone in Vrindavan serves Krishna. If you want to be in the real Vrindavan, join the service. I svi Vrindavan služi Krishna, tako da ako želite biti u pravom Vrindavanu, onda se pridružite onima koji služi. Loving service. To je služba s ljubavim. I want to tell you a story which Jatataka Maharaj just told me. He laughed so hard when he told the story. Ja želim da vam ispravim priču koju sam upravo čuo od Jatataka Maharaj i koji se puno smejao kada je to govorio. There was one semester devotee at Vrindavan whose glasses were stolen. I jedna mi je bio jedan bakt u Vrindavanu sa zapada i njegove naočine su bila ukradena. So, Vrindavasi came and offered the monkey a banana and then the monkey returned the glasses in exchange for the banana. I onda je tu došao jedan Vrindavasi i dao je majmunu bananu, a majmun je vratio naočari u razmenu za svoju bananu. So the devotee knew what to do. The next day another monkey stole the glasses, or maybe it was the same monkey. Now you must know that those who are in Vrindavan, they feel that everything is arranged by Radha or by Krishna. I sada morate znati to da svi oni koji žive u Vrindavanu oni znaju da je sve aranžirano od strane Rade ili Krišna. Also the monkeys. Također i majmuni. So our western devotee was over intelligent. Tako da taj naš zapadnjaški bakt on je bio malo preinteligentan. He wanted to make a deal. On je žalo da napravi dogovor. So he broke the banana in half and offered the monkey half a banana. I onda je on polonio bananu na pola i ponudio je majmunu samo jednu polovinu bananu. At that time the monkey took the glasses and broke them and offered the devotee a half of the glasses. I onda je majmun, on je polonio na očari i dao bakti polovinu na očari. Don't make a deal with Krishna. Nemojte da pravite takve ražbane s Krishna. Otherwise he will send you a clever monkey. <laughs> Give fully to Krishna. Not half. When you are in Dhamma, you should surrender. For instance, you can go on Parikrama. But to give, do it to give pleasure for Krishna. Sing the holy names while you do this. Ali uradite to kako biste dali za dobojstvo Krišnje, pevajte sve te imena dok ste u parikramu. Prabhupada also said the two services which a devotee who is in Vrindavan should never neglect is hearing and chanting. I Šela Prabhupada je također rekao da postoje dve službe koje Bhakta nikada ne bi trebalo zapostavi dok se nalazi na svetom mestu, a to su slušanje i mantranje. Take a good book with you and read that as Glorifying Krishna. And chant extra rounds for glorifying Krishna. Sing in Kirtan. Krishna likes if his devotees glorify him. Pevajte u kirtanu jer Krišna boli kada ga njegove bogite slave. Especially when you sit in places like where Krišna performed his pastimes. There you should sing 
for Krishna. I specijalno ko se nalazite na upravo na mjestu gdje je Krišna izvodio svoje zabave, onda trebate pevati za Krišnu. Krišna je so pleased. I onda je Krišna tako zadovoljan. When you sit next to Jamuna and sing to this Kirtan service, Jamuna will give you spontaneous feelings of love for Krishna. I kada sedite pored Jamuna i kada pevate za Krišnu, onda će vam Jamuna dati to spontano osjećanje ljubavi prema Krišnu. When I was walking through Vrindavan with Gora Hari, we always took a portable harmonium with us and while walking he played the harmonium and I sang with my pair of cartons for many hours. I kada bih ja sa Gora Harijem bio u Vrindavanu, onda bi on uvijek sa sobom ponio onaj mali harmonije koji se nosi i on bi ga svirao, a ja bih pevao i svirao par karatom. By doing this service we found out that Krishna opened doors which for normal, for, for normal pilgrimage, in a normal pilgrimage remains closed. You never see any things, you never experience the things when you, as when you do seva. I mi smo shvatili da time što smo radili ovu službu, da nam je Krišna otvorio vrata koji su inače zatvorene za obično hodočasnika koji se ne uključuje u takvu službu. The next point when you stay in Vrindavan is get rid of your demons. I sljedeća pojenta jeste kada se nalazite u Vrindavanu, oslobodite se svojih demona. Now what does this mean? Sad, šta to u stvari znači? Bhakti Vino Thakur describes that there are obstacles in obtaining Braj Bhakti. Bhakti Vino Thakur objašnjava da postoje prepreke na putu da dostignemo Braj Bhakti. For instance, the Agasura demon who represents sin. Naprimer, Agasura demon koji predstavlja greh. The sinful mentality to give troubles to others. On predstavlja te grešni mentalitet zadavanja nedaća drugima. When you are in Vrindavan, you should absolutely act for the welfare of even the monkeys and the cows and the people and the children and the ants, everything. I kada se nalazite u Vrindavanu, trebate uvijek delovati sa dobrobit i majmuna i krava i ljudi i deca, čak i mrava. I have asked Bridge Basis, what's about the mosquitoes, please? I onda sam ja pitao Bridge Basija, šta je sa komarcima? Because in the scriptures, I have argued, as I said, if those who attack you with a deadly weapon, you can use violence to defend yourself, and the mosquitoes have the deadly weapon, the malaria weapon. I zato što je u svetim spisima napisano, ako vas osoba napadne smrtonosnim orušjem, da mu onda možete uzvratiti, ali komarci, oni imaju u stvari, mogu nas obosti i preneti na malariju. I asked three bridge passes independently. Ja sam pitao trojicu bridge passija koji se nisu poznavali. They said, yes, the mosquitoes are a problem. I oni su rekli, da, komarci jesu problem. In general, you should never trouble any living entity. Generalno, nikada ne bi trebalo da zadaješ nedaću bilo kom živom stvorenju. But because the mosquitoes attack you, you can kill them, except for the month of Kartik. Ali, ako te komarci napadaju, onda ih možeš ubiti izuzet u mesec u Kartiku. In the month of Kartik, Radha Rani rules, who is the supreme merciful goddess of Vrindavan. I u mesecu Kartiku Šemati Radarani, ona je ta koja vlada Vrindavanom i ona je milostivija od svih drugih. So, what I have done is, in the month of Kartik, I only kill those mosquitoes who really are intending to kill me. Tako da što sam ja radio u mesecu Kartiku, ubio sam jedino one komarce koji su stvarno imali nameru da me ubiju. But otherwise I try to avoid Agasura. Ali inače ja sam stvarno se trudio da izbjegnem tog Agasura. The demon who do creates trouble for others. That we have very much in our heart this demon. Tog demona koji uvek ima nameru da zada nevolju drugima, zato što je taj demon jako snažan na nam. These are, there are many demons like this, and those of you who want to study this, there are books like Appreciating Vrindavan from Mahaditi Maharaj, 
which name the different demons which live also within a corner of our heart and which need to be uh, defeated if you want to, to enter Braj. I oni od vas koji bi želi da, želi da uđu u Vrindavan i koji žele da još dublje uđu u ovu temu, možete uzeti knjigu Appreciating Sri Vrindavan Dan od Mahani Dimaharaja i tu je to potrebno objašnjeno. I strongly recommend that you make yourself familiar with these inner demons. I ja vam samo mogu jako preporučiti da se upoznate s ovim unutrašnjim demonima. You just pray to Krishna, please Krishna, give me the vision and the strength to, for instance, to, to avoid Agasura in my heart. I jednostavno se onda možete moliti, Krišna, molite da mi viziju i snagu da povedim demona Agasura. This is also what you do doing the summer camp. I to je upravo ono što trebate raditi tokom letnje kampa. Have you noticed how Agasura is also in your heart during the summer camp? Da li ste isto primetili kako se Agasura nalazi u vašem sredcu u toku ovog kampa? That simple desire to criticize others. Ta grežna želja da kritikujete druge. You could just say, no, I don't want this. I možete jednostavno reći, ne, ja ne želim to. Krishna, please help me to also appreciate that devotee who always thinks out of tune. I Krishna, molim te, Pomozi mi da cenim ovu baktu, iako on uvek peva neku ovu melodiju. Or, you know, or whatever. Ili bilo što slično to. I want the remainder of my text, my seminar, now go directly into Krishna Kata. I will tell you about a very special friend of Lord Krishna. I sada u ostatku našeg seminara ja bih želao direktno da vam govorim o Krišnju tim što će vam reći nešto o Krišnjenom specijalnom prijatelju. This specijalno prijatelj performs a service which will make you smile. I ovaj specijalni prijatelj vrši službu koja će vam doneti osvrnu licu. We will just sing the Hare Krišna and in the meantime our... something is done. Mi ćemo samo pevati Hare Krišna za početak.
gopis had noticed how when Krishna played his flute, Yamuna Mai stopped her current and flowed upstream. Gopis had noticed that when Krishna played his flute, how Yamuna stopped and the current went upstream. They had noticed that Yamuna carried on her waves lotus flowers and offered these to the lotus feet of Krishna. And after they had seen that, they noticed something special. I nakon što su to vidjela, primetila su još nešto specijalno. And they expressed it in these words. I oni su to izrazili sljedećim rečima. The gopis looked upwards and saw something totally unexpected. They saw how just from somewhere a cloud formed on the sky. And it approached Krishna. But not just like that, it became so ecstatic that as it became closer to Krishna, it increased in volume out of ecstasy. Ali nije prešao tek tako, već kako je prelazio Krišni, postoje tako ekstatičan da je krenuo da širi, da povećava svoj volumen od ekstaze. And finally the cloud came to a stop just above Krišna. I onda se taj oblog se ustavio upravo iznad Krišna. At that time, Krišna had rounded up the cows and they had assembled under a shade giving tree because it was noon time the sun was even hotter than in Frushka Goranka. Just Maliteshko. So so Krishna he could have rested in the shade of the tree with Balaram. But he thought, let me play a little on my flute for the cows because they feel exhausted from the summer heat. So the cloud noticed that and saw, look at Krishna, he has so much the benefit of others in his mind. I onda je oblog to primetio i zapozio je kako Krišna uvijek ima dobrobiti drugih na svom umu. Krišna and me are the same, we are friends. I onda je pomislio Krišna i ja, mi smo potpuno isti, mi smo prijatelji. Krišna istigmišes the burning fires of misery. I Krišna je taj koji će uništiti goruće nevolje spadnje. And I, I shake people so that they can find relief from the summer heat. We are the same, we are in the same company, welfare company. Ja sam taj koji ljudima daje senku kako ne bi bilo previše teško kada je vruće, tako da se mi nalazimo u istoj firmi, u firmi koja želi dobrobit. You must know that Krishna is not, when he is out in Vrindavan, he is not there under some shady place, he is always following the cows. Hurting them, taking care of them, even when the noon sun is hot. 
I morate znati, kada se Krišna nalazi van sela Vrindavana, on nikada ne stane u seku drveta, već uvek sledi svoje krave, čak i kada je podnevno sunce na nebu. So the cloud used its good intelligence and came came to Krishna, his friend, his friend in welfare, and shaded him. I onda je Olog potrebio svoju inteligenciju i prišao je svom prijatelju koji čini dobrovit u rugima i onda mu je dao sen. And then the cloud noticed Krishna's flute play. I onda je Olog primetio Krišnin zvuk flaute. And he was so affected by the sweetness of the flute play that he started to rumble. I onda je on bio tako divnut tom krišnjenom pesmom, te je onda također krenuo fino, tiho da grami. Sanatanga Swami describes his voice, the voice of the cloud was ecstatically shocking in the throat. I mi čujemo iz opisa da se u stvari glas samog oblaka, on je počeo da, glas je počeo da nestaje od ekstaze. But somehow or other, the cloud could somehow control himself so much so that the gentle thunder didn't disturb Krishna's food play. It was in harmony, it was like Jai Gopal's Medanga. I onda, međutim, oblak je pokušao da se dovoljno kontroliše tako da je ta njegova gramljavina bila u potpunoj harmoniji, upravo kao Čajko Palova Vridanga. Then, in great ecstasy of love, the cow, the cow, the cloud, I'm sorry, shed tears of ecstasy which came as soft, great, cooling rain drops of Krishna and his cows. I onda je ovdje bio toliko ekstazi, te je počeo da plače od ekstaze i onda su fine kapljice pale na Krišnu i ohladile ga. It shed tears of joy. On je lio suze radosti. A Prabhupada describes that the cloud considers himself a friend of Krišnu. I Prabhupada nam objašnjava da oblak smatra sebe Krišnjanim prijateljem. Because of two reasons. Iz dva razloga. One you know already. Jedan ste već čuli. The cloud feels both Krishna and myself relieve people's suffering from the heat. Zato što oblak osjeća i Krishna i ja dajemo ljudima olakšanje od vrućine. But then he thought with great pride, we have the same bodily color. Ali onda je sa velikim ponosom pomislio, mi također imamo istu boju. Can't you all see, said the cloud, you know, I'm looking like Krishna. I onda oblak je vidio, ja izgledam poput Krišna. And they have very similar names also. A oni također imaju jako slična imena. The clouds are called Syamgana. Oblak je zovemo Syamgana. And Krišna is called? Syamgana. Gana Syam. You know everything. A Krišna zovemo Gana Syam. Once the cloud served his friend Krishna in a very esoteric way. Nanda Maharaj had gone with little Krishna to some distant pasturing ground in Vrindavan to take care of the cows. Nanda Maharaj je ostišao sa malim Krišna u jedan veoma udaljeni kraj Vrindavana kako bi And he went to a forest called Bandiravan, which is dear to the yogis. My dear devotee, everyone who has darshan of Bandiravan is saved from the repeated circles of birth and death. Moji dragi bakte, svi koji posete Bandiravan i koji imam drag, oni su oslobođeni ponovno vraćeni i smrti. It is very interesting. Before Ganesiyam is the village of the snake people. I, I to je... Before Ganesiyam is... Before Bandiravan, mm -hmm. I I to je jako zanimljivo. Pre šume uh, Bandiravan nalazi se selo gdje se nalaze ljudi uh, koji žive sa zmijama. When you come into this village, most people carry a boa constrictor around their head. The bridge buses are sometimes unusual person. 
I to je jako zanimljivo, kada uđete u ovo selo, većina seljena nosi bolu, ja mislim da se kaže na našem jeziku, oko ogromnu zmiju na ramenima, i Bridge Palsi, oni su naobični ljudi. Samo u ovom miliš, oni imaju kontrakt s tijih snakes, tako da snakes stavaju za jedan jer u njih hrvom, i nakon jedan jer oni idu sada. I na neki čunovati način seljani imaju kao poput nekog dogovora sa zmijema koji ostanu u toku jedne godine, žive sa njemu u istoj kući i onda odu negdje drugdje. Možda jedan dan ja ću vam u Bandiravan i mi možemo vrati u vrlo ljudi snake people. To je vrlo vrlo. I možda jednog dana možda će vas povesti u Bandiravan i možda možemo otići u ovo selo ljudi koji žive sa zmijama, to je zaprepašćujuće vidjeti. So in this mystical forest Krishna desired to engage in loving pastimes. I u ovoj mističnoj šumi Krišna poželao da ima svoje ljubavne zabave. And although he was just a small boy, he ordered ominous dark clouds to appear in the sky. Iako je bio samo mali dečak, on je zapovedio moćnim, tamnim oblacima da se pojave na tom šumu. These clouds began to let loose a rainstorm. I ovi oblaci su započeli da ispuštaju veliku luju. Which was so strong that the powerful trees of Bandiravan were pressed to the ground. I ona je, ta oluja je bila toliko moćna da su se ogromna, ogromna drveća koja se nalazila u Bandiravanu je pogledu oko zemlje. The darkness descended. Tama se spustila. And the cows began to anxiously cry. I krave su započele da plaču u strahu. Nanda took his little boy Krishna in the arms and began to pray to Narayan, save my boy and save my cows, please. I onda Nanda Maharaj je uzao Krišnu naruče i počeo da se moli Narayanu, molim te, spasi moje krave i spasi mog dečaka. He didn't know whom to take care of first, Krišna, baby Krišna, who was also crying, woo, woo, and the cows who were also crying, woo, woo. I onda nije znao o kome sad prvo da se pobrinu, o malom Krišni koji je plakao ili o kravama koji isto plaču. So he prayed to Lord Narayan. I onda sam molio gospodinu Narayan. At this moment an unearthly light filled the forest of Vrindavan and approached the place where that death stood. I u tom trenutku jedno svetlo koje ne potiče sa ove zemlje se pojavilo u šumi i prišla je Nanda Maharaj. And a beautiful goddess appeared, dressed in a blue sari with a golden effulgence. I prelepa boginja se pojavila koja je bila obučena u plavi sari i imala je zlagi. Do you know who this could be, Giridari? Da li možda znaš ko bi ovo mogao biti, Giridari? Giritari says Radharani. <laughs> you know everything. <laughs> yes, so Radha appeared. So Nanda Baba prayed to her, beautiful prayer. I Radharani se pojavila i Nanda Baba je uputio molitvu ovoj Radharani. Maybe he thought she was Lakshmi. Možda je mislio da je to Lakshmi. Oh Goddess, you are the first beloved of Lord Hari. O Boginju, ti si najvoljenija gospodina Harija. This Hari has now appeared in my family to bless my family. I ovaj Hari se sada pojavio u moje porodici kako bi je blagoslovio. But there is a danger. Please protect me. Ali sada je oto opasnost. Molim te zaštiti me. O Devi, please take your Lord from my arms now. O Devi, molim te uzmi svog gospodina iz mojih ruku sada. He is frightened. On je uplašen. Bring him to his mother in the village Brindavan. Odvedi ga njegovoj majici u selu Brindavan. In the meantime, I will hurt the cows and bring them back to Brindavan. A među vremenu, ja ću se pobrinati o kravima i dovesti ih nazad u Brindavan. So, Radha said Tatasta to Krishna in her arms. I onda je Radha rekla Tatastu i uzela Krishna u svoj naruč. Quickly she entered into another part of the forest where there was an atmosphere like spring. Brzo otišla u jednu drugu područje iste šume gdje atmosfera bila poput proleća. 
this part of the forest was decorated with fragrant garlands which hang hung everywhere. I ovaj del šume je bio ukrašen prelepnim garlandima cvetnim koji su svuda visili u nokom. Immediately, little Krishna took on the form of a kaishori, the kaishori that is a young, young boy. I odjedan put je mali Krishna, on je odjedan put porastao i uzeo porastao u top kaishora i postao veliki. He was splendid as a dark cloud. I on je bio sjajan, poput tamnog oblaka. He sported a peacock feather and looked more attractive than millions of god of love. I on je imao palnovo pero na svojoj glavi i bio privlačniji od miliona bogove ljubavi. I don't know if you have ever seen the god of love. Ne znam da li ste ikada vidjeli boga ljubavi. Most of the time he remains invisible. I većinu vremena on je ne vidljiv. I njegu on se zove Ananga, odnosno onaj koji ne ima telesne udove. I ono što mi ljudska bića osjećamo jeste kako on uđe u nas, zato što mu je potrebno telo. I onda se osjećamo jako uzbuđeni. I onda se osjećamo jako uzbuđeni. Today I visited the Exit Festival. I danas ja sam bio na Exit Festivalu. Maybe it has not yet started. Mislim nije još započeo. The grounds because we want to do Hare Krishna festivals. Mi smo jednostavno otišli na prostor na kome se to odigralo zato što želimo tamo da održavamo Hare Krishna festival. So I saw a young couple. Ja sam vidio mladi par. They had forgotten everything. I oni su zaboravili sve. Because Cupid had entered their bodies. Zato što je kupit ušao u njihovo telo. I oni su mogli vidjeti jedino i jedno drugo. I oni su bili potpuno ovčarani. A sada zamislite, opisano je kako Krišna izgleda poput miliona kupina na jednom mestu. So when the divine couple Radha and Krišna looked at each other, Radha became so absolutely filled with with transcendental ecstasy. You cannot describe it. I onda kada su Radha i Krishna kada su se pogledali, Radha Rani je postala potpuno preplavljena transcendentalnom ekstazom. Vi to ne možete zamisliti. The cloud who had made all this possible. I oblak koji je sve ovo načinio moguće. Was in the sky and looking at this. Oh, now Krishna has has met his beloved. I was just I was used as a trick. I onda on mislio da sad je Krishna susreo svoju bojenu i ja sam odradio svoj taj trik koji bi ona. And that crowd also cried in ecstasy. I onda je taj ovo tako je plakao u ekstazi. At that time, again the sky became dark for a moment. I u to vreme oblak je ponovo postao tamo. And as the residents of the Vindavan forest looked up the animals, they saw a huge swan coming down. And on it, the four-faced creator of this universe, Lord Brahma. I onda dok su stanovnici Vindavana pogledali na gore, videli su ogromnog lavuda koji je na svojim leđima nosio bramu sa četiri glavu. He said, my dear Radha, my dear Radha, my dear Krishna, please allow me to perform your marriage ceremony as your pujari. I onda je on rekao, moj draga Radha, moj dragi Krishna, molim vas da pustite me da izvršim sa vama kao vaš pujari ceremoniju vančanu. I want to protect the unpure intelligence of the people of this world. Ja želim time da zaštitim nečistu inteligenciju ljudi ovog sveta. Smilingly, Krishna agreed. I usmešak, Krishna se zavlasio. A wedding pavilion appeared with nice flowers. I onda se tu pojavio pavilion za mečanje sa predivnim cvećem. A beautiful throne. Predivni tron. Kusha grass water pots. Pojavili su se posude sa kuša trava. And finally, as Brahma chanted the sacred mantras, 
Radha and Krishna were circumambulating the marriage yagya fire. I onda dok je Brahma izvršavao tu ceremoniju, Radha i Krišna su kružili oko vatra. Then they bowed down to each other. Onda su oni odali poštovanje jednu drugu. And Radha put her lotus hand on Krišna's chest. I Radharani je stavila svoju lotusovu ruku na Krišnjene grudi. And Krišna put his hand on Radha's back. I onda je Krišna stavio svoju ruku na Radharani na leđi. They exchanged flower garlands. And Brahma said, I give you Radha as a, a representative of her father. And that time a universal marriage ceremony started. The Devatas danced and chanted, you who transcendent of marriage. Then Radha Krishna paid the obeisances to Brahma, put their hands on the lotus feet of Brahma. Thank you, Pujari. Oh, let's know Puja. I onda su Radha i Krišna odali svoje poštovanje bravi, Brahmi, čas su stavili svoje glave na njegova stopala i zahvalili su mu se rekli odlična puđa. They wanted to be alone. Onda su želili da ostane sami. And Brahma left with all the devatas. I Brahma je napustio to mesto sa svim ostalim polubogovima. And Radha and Krišna walked through the forest path to the Jamuna. Radha Krishna su šetali šumskim putem koji je išao pored Jamuna. Krishna jumped into the Jamuna like a playful young boy. I Krishna je skočio Jamunu poput mladog razigranog dečaka. And when he came out, Radha didn't want to return, had stolen his flute and didn't want to return it. A kada je izašao napolje, Radrana je ukrala njegovu flautu i sada više nije želao da je vrati. Like a playful young girl. Poput mlade i razigrane devojke. Not like a Vedic couple. Oni nisu bili baš uzorni vedski par. At that time Krishna somehow got his flute back and started to open the rasa dance by inviting all the gopis to sing and dance. I onda je Krishna na neki način dobio svoje flaute nazad i onda je započeo velike rasa ples pozivajući sve ostale gopije da plešu i pevaju. Radha and Krishna's feet made tap tap on the ground. I stopala Radharani i Krišna su činili zvuk tap tap na zemlji. And the anchor bells did jini jini, jini jini, jini jini, tap tap, jini jini, tap tap, jini jini. I onda zvončići koji su oni imali na svojim člancima su činili taj zvuk jini jini, jini jini. Krišna then started to decorate Radha with flowers. I Krišna je započeo da obrašao Radharani cveće. Beautiful jewels. Predivnim dragunjima. And he drew pictures on her face from the minerals. I onda je on crtao slike na njenom licu, mineralima. And then Radha also desired to decorate Krishna. Onda je Radharani također poželila da ukrasi Krishna. And as she applied her, you know, the, 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 what is it called, the brush, something happened. I dok je ona koristila svoju četkicu, kako bi ga ukrasila, nešto se desilo. Krišna became a little boy and started to cry, Mother, Mother, Mama. Krišna je ponovo postao taj mali dačak i počeo da zove svoju majku. Rada je lamented. Rada je sada jadikovala. Oh my only beloved. Oh my jedini boljeni. Why do you show this illusion to me? Zašto si mi pokazao ovu iluziju? Why do you always joke so much? Zašto se uvek tako šališ? And she begged. I onda je ona plakala. At that time a voice from the sky spoke. I u tom trenutku glas sa neba je pogovorio. Oh dearly beloved. Do not lament. Draga volja, ne nemo jadikovati. For in time all your desires will be fulfilled. Za jedno kratko vreme sve tvoje želje će biti ispunjene. So Radha 
And we, all, we also should understand the marriage ceremony was one of Krishna's playful inventions. I Radharani je to razumjela i mi bismo trebali razumjeti da je čitava ta ceremonija venčanja bila još jedna od Krišnjenih igrarija. Wonderful, mysterious Krišnja. Predivni, mistični Krišnja. Radha took the little baby and walked to the village of Vrindavan. I krenula ga selo Vrindavan. All the time followed by the cloud. Sve vreme praćeno oblaci. I thought, wow, I have a wonderful friend. This is the relationship of Krishna to the clouds in Vrindavan. Vrindavan is a place which is totally transcendental to matter, where even clouds have a consciousness. I Vrindavan je mesto koje je potpuno transcendentalno, tako da čak i sami oblaci imaju svesnost. One devotee once said, we Westerners are also like clouds when we visit Vrindavan. Just like the clouds come from the ocean, we also come from a foreign place. The self-realized clouds will never leave Vrindavan, however, but we make the mistake to run away from Vrindavan. I oblaci koji su samospoznati, oni nikada neće napustiti Vrindavan, a mi ipak činimo tu grešku i napuštamo Vrindavan. Therefore, in Vrindavan we can learn even from the clouds. I zato u Vrindavanu možemo učiti čak i od oblak. We can learn to offer loving service. Možemo učiti kako da služimo s ljubavlju. We can learn to glorify Krishna. But only if we have a heart which is not made of stone. If we have a heart made of stone like I have, we must do something which Burijan always recommends. Moramo načiniti nešto što Burijan Prabhu kaže. Burijan Prabhu says, go to another stone, Giriraj. I Burijan Prabhu kaže, idi do drugog kamena, do Giriraj. And when you stay next to Giriraj, i onda kada si u blizini Giriraja, that is the mountain devotee of Krishna, koji je mladina, bakta, gospodina. You pray to him. Onda se moli njemu. Because by his blessings, even a stone-hearted person can become a devotee. Zato što iz njegove blagoslove, čak i osoba koja ima srce poput kamena može postati bakta. Burića pravu uvek kaže tu stvar. Good, so we... This ends today's kata. I ovime ćemo završiti današnju Krišna Vata. If Krišna allows, i ako nam Krišna to dozvoli, that the clouds of it bless us a little bit with coolness, i ako nas oblaci blagoslovi svojim hladnoćom, we will continue later. Nastavit ćemo kasnije. Hvala Krišna. I would like to now ask you if you have any questions because we have 15 more minutes and I have up till now not taken questions from you. Uh, these questions could be either on Brindavan, uh, you know, how to approach Brindavan, how to act in Brindavan, or they could be on the subject matter of uh, what you have heard in, in uh, I sada bih želao da vas pitam da li možda imate neko pitanje, pošto da sada za to nismo imali vremena, tako da pitanje možete imati ili na temu Vrindavan, ili možda u vezi sa nekom od ovih zabava koje smo čuli. Kuvalishaivishvakama has a question. Okay, so 
first question. Please speak. Oh, oh Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu, did I see you? No, 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 I, I'm, I'm sorry, it was you, I believe. Or should we maybe give the microphone? Would you mind to go there? Uh, hi, Krishna. Uh, I would like to first thank, thank you, Maharaja, for this very inspiring seminar. And uh, my question is, uh, something regarding the, the first session uh, when you spoke about uh, uh, the earth and how Krishna actually uh, never touches the earth anywhere else except in Vrindavan and that only in Vrindavan Mother Bhumi carries uh, the markings on, from his lotus feet on her so is there any uh, any uh, reference, any uh, any lila in the in the shastra where uh, Mother Bhumi appreciates uh, this this occurrence that Krishna actually gives her a special mercy that he touches her in Vrindavan and in which in which way she uh, she glorifies him. So. The, Znači, moje pitanje je u vezi prvog, prvog, dio, prvog dela seminara gdje je Maharaj rekao da Krišna nigde drugde ne, ne, ne dodiruje zemlju osim u Vrindavanu. Pa moje pitanje je da li postoji neka, neka zabava u šastra gdje je majka zemlja um, um, je zahvaljuje Krišni to i kako ona, u kom raspoloženju ona Božava Krišna. Thank you. Thank you. Two things come to mind. Uh, it is actually the gopis who glorify Mother Earth in the 21st chapter of the 10th canto for carrying Krishna's footprints. They meditate about how Krishna enters the forest of Vrindavan and marks the ground with his footprints and they are also glorified Mother Earth later for actually carrying the footprints of Krishna. But you wanted to know uh, if Mother Earth herself glorifies Krishna. Ali ti si želao znati da li i sama majka Zemlja, da li ona slavi Krišnu? At this moment, I know only know of one occurrence. It's this is described uh, in a later chapter how the cows, millions of cows, walk over Mother Earth and with their sharp hooves, they cut actually the surface of Mother Earth. Opisane kako milijoni krava idu uh, po tlo majke zemlje i u stvari svojim oštrim, uh, kako se kaže, papcijom, papcijom, da, oni uh, ranjavaju majku zemlju, sekuje. This is extremely painful to mother earth. I to zada si jako veliki bol majci zemlje. I don't know if you know the method of Chinese torture, you just flick little cuts in the meridian points, that's <laughs> The victims scream for fear, for pain, and it's something that painful. 
I ne znam da li sam upoznat kineski metodi mučenja kada se osobi zadaju male seče sa osoba po meridijanima i to je jako, jako bolno. So, Mother Earth similarly feels that pain. I majka zemlja na isti način osjeća taj bol. But, but, but then Krishna comes behind the cows with his lotus feet and relieves Mother Earth. Ali onda Krishna dolazi za svojim kravama i onda daje olomšanje majce zemlje. She is actually screaming from an agony, but Krishna Lotus feet are the perfect cooling medicine. I ono stvari prišli u agoni, ali krišnjena stopala daju lakšanje. It is as if after the worst of pain, you get the coolest of treatments. I to je kao da nakon najgoreg bola koji ste ikada imali, dobijete najrasklađujuće, najlepše olakšanje. Now, but I'm not... My, my brain is a little hot, but there must be verses where Bhumi personally addresses Krishna. Do you know of anything Krishna said to Prabhu at the moment? I also at the moment. U ovom trenutku ja stvarno ne mogu da se setim, ali mora da postoje neki stih da se majka zemlja lično zahvali bljuje Krišnu. I only know that her screams are stopping. Her pain is stopped by Krishna's love. Ja zna, samo znam da je njen bol zaustavljen uh, krišnjenim uh, otiscima s tobom. Umelešaja više pa kama. I ti se nam danas pričao o tome kako su se radi Krišna Venčevi, ali ja nikada nisam čuo zašto je Šimati Radirani, zašto se ona udala za obimanju, tako da sam želao da te to pita. This question was asked by me on the phone by the daughter of Gadatha, little Radhika, she phoned me in, where was it, in, in, in the island of Ish. Why, if Krishna, oh, if Radha only loves Krishna, why does she marry Abhimanyu? I ovo isto pitanje me opitala Gadadarova čerka, koja me čak pozvala telefonom na ostrovo Iš, i pitala me, pa zašto, ako Radrani toliko voli Krišnu, zašto se ona udala za Abhimanyu? Gadadar phoned me, because his little girl was driving everyone crazy with this complicated question. I Gadadar me morao pozvati, zato što je njegova mala devojčica izmuđivala sve oko sebe ovim teškim, komplikovnim pitanjem. So, I really pray to Krishna, because this was trouble now in the, in the Dharma castle, you know, Radhika didn't know the other. Radhika is only four years old, didn't it? <laughs> so I said, Radhika, uh, Abhimanyu is the shadow of Krishna. That is how it is explained by the Goswamis. She, there is only one male, Krishna. I to je način na koji to objašnjavaju Goswami. Postoji jedino jedna muška osoba, to je Krishna. Everyone else, also the cowherd men, are only shadows. I svi ostali, uključujući i osobe koje ču, muškarce koji se bave čuvanjem krava, oni su samo senka. So in some ways she's only with Krishna. Tako da na jedan izvestan način ona je samo sa Krišnom. When I told Radhika, she said, oh good. She was satisfied with that answer. I kada sam ja ovo ispričao Radhika, ona je bila zadovoljna sa tim odgovorom. Because children think different than we humans, than we grown up people. Zato što djeca misle drugačije od nas od razlih ljudi. For as grown up people, they may, I will give a more complex understanding. It's in order to facilitate the parakya rasa. So what this means, you have to find out by deep study and 
careful qualification of the path of Krishna consciousness. A za zdravstvo osobe daće jedan malo kompleksni odgovor. Sve to se odigrava kako bi se omogućilo razmjenom parak i arasi i da biste to razumeli, morate se baciti na duboko studiranje i razumevanje i na kvalifikovanje za razumevanje tako nače. But let us be simple. Abhimanyu is the shadow of Krishna. Ali hajde da sad ostanemo jednostavni. Abhimanyu je jednostavno Krišnjena senka. So, we have just our 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 secretary has found some references. Mal, what is your good name? There are prayers by Mother Bhumi to Lord Krishna in Shiva Bhagavatam, 10th canto, 49th chapter. 26 to 32. I sad smo dobili stvari tačno gde se nalaze ti stihovi Text 26. I will read you. Telesiti devet o poglavlje i stihje peše 29. Goddess Bumi said, Obeisances unto you, O Lord, of the chief demigods. I Majka Bumi je rekla, Moja je poštovanje tebi o vrhovnom od svih bogova. O holder of the concha, disc and club. O ti koji držiš koljku, disk i topus. O supreme soul within the heart. O uzvišena dušu u koja se nalazi u srcu. You assume your various forms to fulfill your devotee's desires or basances unto you. Ti uzimaš različite oblike kako bi ispunio želje svoji bakta, moje poštovanje tebi. Very nice prayers. Predivno molite. I really request you to look this up for yourself and see if she mentions the footprints on her bosom. I ja bih te zamolio da ti lično pogledaš ove stihove i da onda vidiš da li ona pominje krišnjine otiske. Good, so let us see now. Oops. Those of you who have asked questions I can answer them at a different time, but it is now the time for our Arctic ceremony and we don't want to let Krishna wait. So thank you very much for participating. I wish you a wonderful time and just before you go, study, study, study. There is a book out. It is called In Memory of Our Dear Sadanandi Devi Dasi. Sada ćemo imati Gora Arati. Oni koji imaju još pitanje mogu to pitati nekom drugom prilikom. A ja samo želim da pomenim ovu knjigu koja se zove In Memory of Sadanandi Dasi. Sadanandi was really a Vrindavan lover. I Sadanandi je stvarno bila ljubavna Vrindavana. And she had an extraordinary devotional life and an extraordinary passing from this world. If you wish to read this very moving book, you can go to Bhakti Devi. Pročitate ovo izvanredno delo, onda možete otići kod Bhakti Devi, ona ima štan na polju. Sivindavindama ki jako premanandi hajjajako. Sivindavindama hajjajake.